Listen. Did Mary give birth to Jesus? No. Hello, people of God. Uh, great to have you here again today. Um, I came across a video from Dr. Abel Damina where we're talking about the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And you know, he made some statements like um, Jesus was not given birth to by Mary. That is to say, uh, Mary did not give birth to Christ. And so he was trying to explain using different scriptures and um, uh, why Again, he said um, to mankind, to what men saw. Uh, what they saw was as though Mary gave birth to Jesus. But in actual sense, Mary did not um, you know, give birth to Jesus. Well, personally, I believe that there's actually nothing to contend with on that subject because the Bible is very clear. But nevertheless, um, I wouldn't want to speak until the video has been presented okay so uh the video will be played in a moment let us listen to what he has to say what and also what do you have what is the knowledge that you have in the scriptures regard the birth of christ now whatever he's saying also is not just saying it out of the blues he has some scriptures you know to quote okay but nevertheless let us listen to him and then the comment section is there open to whatever view you have or whatever opinion you have or whatever you believe that it is actually the stand of the scripture um, so uh, please uh, listen to it okay so that baby was in the manger the manger wasn't carrying the baby the baby was carrying the manger that's why the baby is a mystery in a manger meaning even when mary was pregnant that baby was carrying mary so if there was a god in that man then that baby was not really a baby even though that baby was a baby yes sir yes sir eyewitness he was born revelation god manifested or god appeared Jesus beyond eyewitness accounts to a layman Mary gave birth to Jesus but technically it was not a birth like it used to be one month you drop one bomb and we we hold ourselves until another month now it's like every week <laughs> you said something about Jesus changing form. Genomai. So God had to change to being man. Yes. To be able to help man. Yes. To become man. Yes. To die. Yes. Because it's, it's called identification. He identified with us in sin and death. So we can identify with him in life and righteousness. Global no, Baba. You know, just as I said. It's so true. It's real. Yeah. When anyone listens to you and listens with an open mind, you learn like that. So, but why didn't we know this before today? Why? Why? And why are other pastors not teaching like this? Well, pro Revelation is progressive. I don't know how hungry those pastors are, because if you're really hungry for the truth, sincerely and and study the scriptures and prayerfully look at the scriptures, you know, and you're honest. The scriptures will open up. So that baby was in the manger, but that was not a baby. That baby was God. That baby was God. The manger wasn't carrying the baby. The baby was carrying the manger. That's why the baby is a mystery in a manger. That baby is a pre-incarnate who incarnated. That baby is a pre-incarnate who incarnated. So that baby was the incarnate one who has his roots in the pre-incarnate meaning that baby predated that event meaning that baby long before the manger has been in operation meaning even when mary was pregnant that baby was carrying mary 
is a mystery the record of matthew mark luke and john was an account of what people saw with their physical eyes but because this baby in the manger predated the manger there was more to the baby that the eyes couldn't see henceforth the eyewitness accounts couldn't record so the the, the merging the merging of deity with humanity is called son of god uh, the greek word is genomai genomai means god changed shape and location for a purpose that god removed god and squeezed himself in human flesh and changed location and came to another location to operate like the people in that location genomai that's why he's called son of god because it's a major of deity in humanity so if there was a god in that man then that baby was not really a baby even though that baby was a baby yes sir yes sir jesus never called himself son of joseph never not once number two jesus never called himself son of david not once it was people that called him son of david revelation supersedes eyewitness account without controversy somebody shall know controversy great is the mystery of godliness keep it up what is the mystery of the godhead Kayana, that god is manifest not that god is born eyewitness born revelation manifest eyewitness he was born revelation god manifested or god appeared that means jesus is god who manifested in the flesh why did he manifest in the flesh to pay our debts question did mary give birth to jesus no what happened jesus used mary to appear jesus used mary to manifest another word hebrews 9 26 let's stay with revelation for then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world but now once in the end of the world hath he appeared hebrew calls it appearance timothy brother paul called it manifestation kabaya so why do we say that mary didn't give birth to jesus in giving birth a man and a woman must sleep together egg and sperm must meet in jesus's case no sperm while matthew mark luke were writing eyewitness account john didn't write complete eyewitness john mixed his own with more revelation how do we know you will not find john saying mary was a virgin standing somewhere and then an angel came and said hail down mary what happened in john's case john showed up and said in the beginning was the word the word was with god the word was god the same was in the beginning with god meaning the pre-incarnate pre-existed before the incarnate meaning the pre-incarnate became the incarnate what he was saying is that a deity took up humanity john says and the word became flesh and dwelt among us so the word was not born the word just became paul says appeared i mean the writer of hebrew says appeared paul said manifest that what mary did was not a an a natural birth it wasn't really a birth in the natural john that same john chapter 1 verse 13 everybody read with me very loud clean clear like a mass choir i want to go which were born not of blood so jesus didn't take blood for mary the blood of jesus never touched the blood of mary natural blood did not touch his blood that means if mary didn't get born again and if mary didn't receive jesus she will have gone to hell even though she gave birth to jesus you know jesus had to make her know that look i'm not your son because jesus is god in creation he is christ in redemption he is holy ghost in regeneration when it has to do with redemption god remove god put on flesh 
listen if god had come as god nobody can kill god now we have listened to uh, what dr abel damen has to say and again i'm still saying in my own opinion i believe that there is no contention about the subject of the birth of christ christ was given birth to as any man is given birth to all right so he was born in the manger by the woman called mary now it is true that joseph had no communication no participation it was supernatural it was divine but yet the bible says and the word became flesh and that is god himself became flesh okay in hebrews he says we do not have an high priest who could not be touched by the same infirmities that we went through the bible says he was tempted the same way we were tempted so he went through what we went through he lived as like us the bible says in fact the the, the, the world became flesh and it dwelt among us how as human being such that we could relate with so that was why i said there is no contention okay so jesus now he was also saying that he was never called the son of joseph that is true but if you check the scriptures you will see that jesus referred to himself also as son of man now i want to say something here that uh you would have to you know study and pray and let's find out what god would have to say to you now before i say that i want to relate it to and i i believe that no matter the number of fake men of god that we have on the surface of the earth today it does not make invalid the fact that we also have true men of god as a matter of fact before you could have fake it means that original exists so we all agree that we have true men of god say before i knew thee all right before i formed thee i knew thee i ordained you a prophet in your mother's womb okay so we have prophets on the surface of the earth and that they are true prophets now when these people are giving birth to even as baby it will not change the fact that god has called them and ordained them to be a prophet but yet they would have to go through that uh that series or phase or process of growth and as a baby they would never know that they are prophets they would not know but over time purpose begins to call them over time they could come out and say that no i am not going to this career i'm not going to do this i am sure and i believe that there's a call of god upon my life who tells them how did they get to know they were just giving birth to like any other man has been giving birth to but like i said over time purpose calls the person so what i'm actually saying here is that i believe strongly that jesus was giving birth to as a baby and he had to grow like we grew okay he grew through the help of the training you know that his parents also gave to him also he, he, he was in the house of god he fellowshiped in the house of god over time you would find him in the place of prayer just like any other man or any other prophet would develop and grow to the point that they would hear god and know that okay this is my purpose elijah discovered his purpose moses a prophet who worked with god also discovered his purpose the same way christ was giving birth to as a man and the word became flesh he was flesh and blood in case there's still uh contention on the on the fact that i said it was flesh and blood when he was crucified when he died and he was pierced the bible says that blood came out water came out as well so he wasn't any less than a man okay because for god to save us he had to relate with us as a man i mean it is it is he had to take our place to be able to save us so he wouldn't stand and save us from the place of being God, all right? He had to become flesh. He had to become man. That's what God says. It's like you want to help a, a, a colony of ants. And to be able to do that, you need to interact with them. You need to come down from your exalted glory. And so you have to become the one you want to help, the one you want to save. And so that was why I said there is to me there is no big deal and there is no contention about this. All right, it was given birth in the natural. No contention about that. 
Yes, it is true. Joseph had no communication and no participation, but was giving birth to. His delivery was taken as any other man would take. He was eating the same food that they were eating then. He joined in the works that they were doing in the house. Then he grew to know the Lord. Then over time, in the place of fellowship, he began to discover purpose. Purpose was calling him. So well, whatever you feel, eh, it shouldn't actually be whatever we feel. It is now what has the word got you know to say uh, so so that we just don't unnecessarily uh create you know confusion uh, because i recall i saw <laughs> one of the messages on facebook that a man of god preached and somebody went to the comment section and said it got the gospel is supposed to be easy and simple now i am confused I don't even know what is what anymore because everybody wants to bring one revelation or the other. All right, God bless you. You have anything to say? You have any view? Please drop it in the comment section. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe, and also remember to uh, click the notification button so that anytime we make a post, you'll be the first person to know. Have a wonderful day.